Um, welcome to artificial intelligence class and in today's class we will see uh, the emerging trends are the applications of artificial intelligence from first unit problem solving. Artificial intelligence become increasingly important uh, as industries and organizations and the AI is dominating almost all the industries because they continue to automate day by day operations and gradually they change the manpower into the computer. We will see some of uh, the AI trends here. Um, they are uh, problem solving, game theory, theorem proving, NLP that is natural language processing, perception, image processing, expert system, robotics and neural network. Let us see all those things one by one. The first one is problem solving. Problem solving means to implement the procedures on AI system to solve a particular problem like human being. That means we have to develop a procedure to solve a problem exactly like how the human being will solve the problem. Okay, So this is problem solving. Game theory. Uh, some of the simple games are this is a 8 queen problem, this is 8 puzzle problem and this is chess board, chess uh, game and by using this AI searching technique we can solve these simple problems or uh, simple games ok and most of the games are uh, having its own set of rules. We have to follow the rules to solve the games and the board configuration should be very simple. Uh, and easily represented in the computer so that we can easily solve these games. For solving the large and complex games like the PUBG, Temple Run, so these are latest games, isn't it? So to solve such games, it requires lot of technique to implement, more number of conditions are there uh, and we have to observe the current state, accordingly we have to apply the corresponding action. So it requires more techniques to implement and finally the term intelligent, intelligent which is used by the human being to play the games. That means for solving any game that is computer game, the computer program should implement the intelligent technique to solve the game likewise the humans are using their intelligent to play the games. The next one is theorem proving. Uh, this is another important application of AI by using machine learning and deep learning that is so many algorithms there to prove theorem in machine learning and deep learning. Let us see one simple example here. The Boolean algebra theorem, how the humans will solve this Boolean algebra theorem? First the human will identify the lemma of this theorem. Lemma means truth. Okay. That means the theorem is having feasible solution or not. This is called as lemma. Okay. And if the theorem is having feasible solution, then only the human will try to prove it. Otherwise, the human will discard it because we are having intelligence. Isn't it? So, like the same, the artificial intelligence system also first that will try to identify the lemma of this theorem. If there is any lemma, then only they try to attempt to prove this theorem. Otherwise, they will simply discard from the beginning itself. Natural language processing, which is otherwise called as NLP. What is natural language processing? See, this is computer and this is human being. Okay, here human being will communicate with the computer by using his own language, for example, English, normal spoken English. And the computer can understand this English and it will respond to the human by using the same English. That is the spoken language of human. Okay, That is we can ask questions to the computer in our mother tongue. The mother tongue may be anything. Okay, And the system can understand and it will respond with the same language to the uh, human being. Now, the goal of NLP is use the people's language such as English to communicate with the system rather than the computer languages such as C, C++, Java. Okay, By using these things we can write a program uh, that is a set of commands to instruct the computer. So instead of using these languages 
we are using english and all the other mother tongue of the human being next one is perception this is the most trending area of artificial intelligence nowadays and the operations involved under this perception is touching smelling listening tasting and eating that is by using this operation we try to understand the environment our problem area huh? our problem area that is by using these operations we try to make the computer more intelligent and the area will come under perception are the natural language understanding and processing and then the computer vision okay and the major applications will come under this area are the speech reorganization and pattern reorganization so this will come under natural language processing and this will come under big data or data science big data or data science image processing uh, this is very much helpful to identify the relations between parts of the image here actually our computer is actually connected to the camera okay so by using the camera the computer will receive the continuous visual images by using this it will sense the environment okay by using some operations the operations are image capturing by using the camera edge deduction of a particular objects and segmentation the object will be extracted and recognition and analysis of that particular object so by using this the computer can easily monitor the environment and this is other way called as computer vision the goal of this particular computer vision is give powerful facility for understanding the surroundings okay this is very much helpful for designing the robots that is uh, the robotics department expert system who is expert a person who is having complete knowledge about a particular field then the person is called as expert isn't it so this is an emerging trend in artificial intelligent here many different uh, deep learning algorithms are used to find the expert tricks and ideas to solve a particular problem after that those tricks will be loaded into the system and make available to other users uh, here the knowledge engineer or the expert he will upload his ideas and uh, the tricks to the system and that will be available for the users they may not have to be expert okay so by using this expert system anyone can solve the problem in time the time will be very much saved robotics robot means a programmed electro mechanical device to perform manual task so in the place of human we can use robots a robot is a multi functional device designed through machine learning and deep learning algorithms okay to perform varieties of task okay this is called as actually robotics and robots are hardly required in industries agriculture underwater space military entertainment healthcare security and surveillance and etc almost in all the departments robotics is dominating nowadays a neural network this is a support of artificial intelligence here a series of deep learning algorithms work with noisy data and tries to recognize the relationship of the data and identifies the patterns of data through some process okay through some algorithms that mimics the way the human brain operates that is how the human will solve a problem the neural network exactly mimic that particular process here the neural architecture captures the knowledge from large number of units and make uh, reasonable guess and create ideas for particular problem exactly like human and here neural network contains a collection of neurons so this is the human brain and this is the neural network artificial neural network okay here a uh, number of neurons will be connected to each other and that will act as an independent unit in that network 
here the knowledge will be distributed uniformly around that network hence we can create uh, the ideas and guess for a particular problem easily on time up to this we have seen uh, the emerging trends are the applications of artificial intelligence here we have seen only a limited applications uh, they are uh, problem solving game theory theorem proving natural language processing perception image processing expert system robotics and neural network in next class we will see another important topic from first unit for more information please go through your textbook thank you